I'm so proud of you. My son, I'm very proud of you. My son went to university and he graduated. And now he has a family of his own. I am so proud of him. Yes, he deserves a big round of applause, my son. But how I wish, how I wish his mother, my wife, can see him. My wife is no longer on this earth. She has left me. She has left us. Lay leg. How I wish you could have seen our son. He has grown up to be an amazing man. Amazing. And he has a good job. Just like we hold him to have. But I feel like now, I'm a burden to everyone, even my own son. I'm not as strong and as fit as I used to be. I used to be able to carry a cupboard, a big cupboard on my own, without anybody's help. But now, I need everybody's help. I am so dependent on everybody around me. My hands are always shaking. It's always trembling. What am I to do? What am I to do? Grandpa! Look what you've done! You've made a mess again! Don't touch, don't touch, don't make things first. Grandpa, what's this? Hey. Ah, hey, boy, it's a picture of your daddy. Ah, Matthew. Your daddy very handsome, right Matthew? This picture was taken when he was young. I remember this picture very well, Kappa. Let me tell you. Can I have a seat? We took this picture at the beach. I took him to the beach for a picnic with his grandmother. I remember it very clearly because I brought him there when he was 13, for his 13th birthday. And I remember it so clearly because on that day, I took leave from my work just to celebrate with, with you. Grandpa, why are you so sad? I'm not sad if you are. I'm just remembering old times, you know, as you grow older, you start to think about all the old times. You know, your daddy was very good at learning things very quickly. He learned a lot of things very fast. I, I remember I taught him how to fly a kite. How many of you have fly kites? Yes, I taught him how to fly a kite. I teach him how to play badminton, how to play football. And when he was 10 years old, I, I bought him a new pair of shoes, new soccer boots, and he was so happy. And I even taught him how to ride a bicycle. And when he was in secondary school, I remember he won the prize for being the best student in math and science. And we were so proud of him. Yes, we are so proud of him. Because myself, grandpa and grandma didn't go to school. We didn't really go far. We only went for primary school and that's it. But my son, 
went all the way to university and I was so proud of him. I remember I used to work day and night just to make sure that I can pay for his school tuition. I work in the day and I work at night. At night I wash cars. In the day I tend a drink store and I managed to save just enough for his schools and everything else. And back then he was so poor, there was one time he wanted a bicycle. Before I could teach him how to ride, I need to buy a bicycle, but I couldn't afford. I was so sad. But then one day, I found a used bicycle, a broken bicycle in the dustbin. I pick it up, I brought it home, and I repaired it myself. I make sure it looked brand new. I cleaned it all by myself, without anybody's help. When I was young. And then when I gave it to your dad, Matthew, your dad was so happy that he hugged me so tight, like how you used to hug me, and how you still hug me right now. He was so happy. And by the way, your daddy could learn, he learned how to ride a bicycle in only one week without the training wheels. One week! Amazing! Do you want to learn how to ride a bicycle with you? He just asked me if I can teach him how to ride a bicycle. Of course I can. Matthew, I'll make sure I teach you just like I thought. Ready, this one. Ready. Hi. Hi, dear. Hey. Hi. I'm so looking forward to our trip to Bali. Have you bought the tickets yet? Matthew is so excited, aren't you? Yes. Mommy said we are going to see pink dolphins and go for jet ski. That's right. We are. It's going to be really fun. In fact, when you get back home, you get to tell your friends all about it. Ready? Yeah. Is Grandpa coming with us? He promised to teach me cycling. Come, let's eat dinner. I've prepared dinner. Mom has prepared your favorite food. Come, sit over here. I'll go get dinner. Yeah. We've got a table right there for you. You know, if you don't mind, because you've been dropping food and drinks lately, and you know it's easier to clean up the mess then. So if you don't mind, it's the table is just right for you. Okay, um, let's, let's 
Let's watch TV, huh? Come. Come. Thank you so 
much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, we're going to go on to the next segment of the play. And for this part, we are going to ask for volunteers. Wow! Everybody is so enthusiastic. That's good. Hello. Okay. The name of our company is called Interaction Arts and Drama Network. And the most important word being interaction. Which means we're going to have two volunteers on stage to act with us. Yes. Mr. Arwin, can you help us out? And get us two volunteers. Yes. A boy and a girl. Mr. Mel, I'm going to take one. So we have uh, a lady. Yes, a boy and a girl. Okay. So it's going to be one, one boy and one girl.
So we're all still working at this you, age. You are rude. What do you mean I'm rude? I'm not rude. Excuse me. 
Bye-bye. 